a rainy Monday night, the Monmouth Hawks went into a place they haven't won in a long time, Alumni Gymnasium in Lawrenceville at Ryder University, and came out with a one-point win over their rival Bronx, 55-54. to I was able to speak with the head coach of the Monmouth Hawks, King Rice, as well as guards Max DeLeo and Justin Robinson, about the huge one-point win, which snapped a nine-game losing streak to their rivals from West Jersey. It was extremely important. We had Andrew Nicholas, who couldn't play a lot of minutes tonight. Josh was down. Um, Max has been struggling, so um, uh, it really came down to me and Dion, and we had to step up uh, together and come out with a big win. And your team, for the second year in a row at this place, fell behind. Last year you hit a three to get it to overtime. This year you were able to get it done in regulation. And just talk about the, the guts of this team, the heart coming back all game, down for the majority of it until you got the lead late. Um, nobody stops fighting. Everybody uh, fights collectively as a group, and everybody's bought into the group. And everybody plays for the uh, name on the front of the jersey instead of the back. So as long as we keep doing that, we're going to be successful. And please take us through this sequence. Mammoth down 39-30. You get 1-3. Then you come back down. You hit another one. What's going through your mind to get it to 39-36 and ultimately forcing Ryder to call timeout? Um, I come down. Um, I'm wide open. Nobody steps up. I think i got to shoot the ball. So I knock it down, come down the next one, get a ball screen. Um, Coach Rice and Coach Reese are saying bang, bang from the sideline. So I step up, knock the next one down. They have to call a quick timeout. And right, just like that, we're right back in the game. Max, two years in a row, tough games in this building. Last year, tough loss. This year, close win. Talk about what's different with this team from last season to this season that you're able to come in and get this W. Um, we're just very consistent this year. Um, we were down early, and we just kept fighting. Uh, just kept fighting, kept pushing, and towards the end, we started having a lot more fun, started running on them, and it, we made plays down the stretch, and you know that, that's what's been hurting us earlier this season, but this game, we made plays down the stretch, and that helped us win. That's a great point that you make because it seemed as though the first half and a lot of the second half, it, it was kind of slow tempo. It's, we know that's not the way you guys want to play. But then late, you're able to force those turnovers. You got some runouts late. What were you guys doing differently those last couple of minutes? Because your energy, instead of it going down, the whole team's energy looked to kind of rise up. Uh, you know, on defense, Coach said something in the timeout about how in practice when we get excited, when we get stops, and we really get the defense going, you know, it helps our offense. And I think that's what happened. I think everybody just got really excited. We were buckling down, getting stops, and, you know, that gave us momentum on offense. And it, it was just – we started having fun. That's what happened. Coach, your team tonight able to go into a very hostile environment, get a win in a place Monmouth hasn't won in a long, long time. Talk about the determination of your team to go and get this come from behind win. Well, I'm so excited because I've been talking to these guys, Eddie, about feeling like we got to go into somebody's building and take what's theirs. And we kept talking about it, kept talking about it. We got off to a slow start, so I wasn't sure if tonight would be the night. But we have resilient kids. They keep fighting. Bree started blocking some shots. Justin started making a couple. Good things happen for the Hawks. Coach, last year your team down 17, forced overtime. This year down nine in the second half for parts. Justin hits a couple of threes, able to get rolling. And then your defense down the stretch really proved to be the key. I think that's what's, what's making us better this year. Our defense at times can really lock in and – and get stops and tonight we were able to get a lot of stops in a row to get back into it and then we were able to continue to get the stops block shots make them turn it over so we could get the lead and then uh, I probably said 10 prayers while that ball was in the air please Lord don't let it go in and it did not go in we saw that and from courtside that ball kind of it was right on line obviously it was too strong what is a game like this and you kind of alluded to it already Tell you and tell the rest of the, of the fans about this Mammoth team that they're able to go into this kind of place and get such a, a, a big win when you had guys in foul trouble, struggling from the floor, still able to come out on top. Well, it, it says that we're getting better. Um, I think everybody sees that we're getting better, and our kids are growing up. You know, last year when the year before we weren't able, we were able to come back but we weren't able to get over the hump and get the win. Well, now, because of our defense, because of the year of experience with these kids, now not only can we come back, we can come back and get the win. Coach, we appreciate a few minutes. Good luck next time out. No favors done by the schedule makers. You got St. Peter's at home on Wednesday after just one day rest. Obviously, some momentum into that game, but n like no games in this league, none of them easy. No games are easy. It's a great league. I'm so happy that we're in the MAC, and 5-1 uh, and one feels good right now. 
I want to thank the head coach of the Mammoth Hawks, King Rice, as well as Max DeLeo and Justin Robinson for joining me postgame after Mammoth's huge 55-54 win over Ryder. The Hawks return to action on Wednesday when they host their other hourglass rival, St. Peter's at 7 p.m. in the Multipurpose Activity Center. You can hear that game on the Shore Sports Network, and you can watch it right here on your home for Mammoth Athletics, mammothhawks.com on the Mammoth Digital Network.